Oh, hi there. Sites. I was having a think today about these. I get asked about sites all the time. You know, why? Why do we have little ones? Why do we have long ones? How do they adjust? What do they do? How much do they weigh? And obviously they come from price ranges from under £10 for a little plastic one to hundreds of pounds if you want a more expensive one. But fundamentally what all these things do is hold a sight pin. And whether that sight pin's got a little red dot in the middle or it has some sort of fibre optic in it, fundamentally what you're trying to do is get a very small dot in the middle of the target. The problem with that is it tends to lead to over aiming. So what exactly do I mean by over aiming? It's a tendency to want to get that little dot right in the middle of the gold before you're going to release. The problem with that is that you get fatigued. You hold the bow for too long and basically what happens is you'll start shaking and the more you start shaking the more you're trying to get the dot on the middle and eventually you'll just release or you'll come down and start your process of shooting again. Oh, nice form. Get in the middle now. You really should be thinking about letting go now. No, no, get in the middle. Maybe you should let go. Okay, so how do we get around this? Well, I came across a site from a company called German. It's a German company, precision engineered product, so it's not cheap. But if you wait till the end of the video, you'll get a discount code to get £10 off on our website. So why is this site different? to everybody else's. Well, it has what's called an indexed aperture. So here's the product. You can see that it's lacking any sort of a sight pin, just completely empty. What it does have, however, is an iris similar to a camera with 22 index points. And this means that you can adjust the aperture on this from 12 mil down to half a mil. What's the advantage? Well, if I turn this, you'll see the aperture gets smaller and smaller. This means you can shoot at different size targets, at different distances, and still end up with the same sight picture. What do I mean by that? You adjust the aperture on this so that it takes in all the gold and just a tiny bit of the red. So that when you lift your bow, what you're looking for is that same picture all the time. You just want to see a red border on the gold and you release. You're not trying to get a dot right in the middle of the yellow. So what they've done is they have basically inverted what you're trying to do. You're not trying to get a dot right in the middle. You're just trying to frame the gold. So that's the product. What does it look like in use? So here we are with an 80 centimetre target at 10 metres and we can adjust it down so that the red just frames the gold. And now we have it on a 40 centimetre target and again we just change the adjustment to get the same sight picture. Okay so that's the game inside. Fantastic little piece of kit. Our sponsored shooters are all using them and uh, all say that they've seen an improvement on it. So thanks for watching. Oh, one other thing, you'll be looking for that discount code. It's coming up right now. You'll also find a link to our website here. Bye for now.